Hi everybody, it's Brooke with Cali Quill Keepers and we're going to be talking about calcium today and I just wanted to run through a few calcium supplements that I have um, incorporated into my quills diet uh, throughout the last, uh, you know, six months or so. First of all, I started off with the um, oyster shell, um, you know, crushed oyster shell, but it's very big and obviously the the quail can't consume that so I was uh, you know forced into crushing it by hand or whatnot finding other ways of making it into smaller particles didn't like that so much so um, you know I had to learn through uh, Terry at Katrinik's Corner on uh, the YouTube uh, channel that you can use calcium carbonate okay calcium carbonate this is derived from limestone all right but it is 99 percent pure let's just read what's on the back avoid contact with skin and eyes use in a well ventilated area wear appropriate respirator and then there's all kinds of first aid uh you know things on here but I don't know I'm just not liking that so much but then again it says non-gmo food grade you know you can use this in organic uh you know processing and for diet and supplementation whatever but then again use a respirator okay whatever anyhow I went to the local feed store and they didn't really have another option um at one point there was a supplier that was uh offering the powder form oyster shell i contacted them they're no longer doing that i contacted so many people within the area and nobody is doing another consistency or size with the oyster shell i talk to the local feed uh you know distributor and uh i was happy to come across this brand new product which i'm super stoked on what is this it's an oyster shell flake okay flake this is perfect uh i can give it to my quail on the side and they can pick at it and eat it whenever they feel like they need an extra supplementation of the oyster shell okay i don't need to mix it in with the feed it's all powdery and dusty and all that sort of thing but it's you know small enough particle size for them to consume and uh i think it's gonna work out very well this is from washington and uh I just wanted to elaborate on a reason why we need to have extra calcium uh, or not extra but the proper amount of calcium in the quail's diet so we're gonna look at and uh, you know try to have a two to three and a half percent calcium intake in the quail diet so what you're gonna find on your quail feed bags, and it's gonna be like on the bottom, but this is the nutritional kind of supplemental tag that is on every feed bag, or should be at least. And it's got a breakdown of everything that is in the feed that, you know, obviously you're gonna be needing. Oh, I had that upside down. Oh my goodness. All right, check it out. Bam, bam. So, it's got on there, the most important things that you want to look for is the crude protein, you know, crude fat, crude fiber, and then it's got the ash, phosphorus, calcium, but we're talking about calcium today, all right? So, look on the nutritional uh, supplemental tag, whatnot, okay, on your feed bags, and it's going to show you the percentage, and... Uh, there's actually some videos I can recommend. Uh, you can go on Katrinix Corner and My Shire Farm, and you can 
they, I hate math, okay? They've got a breakdown and calculations uh, that you can use to, you know, supplement your ratios, uh, you know, if you're going to be using just, if all you have is high protein, you know, layer, or not layer, but grower feed, and the calcium is just a bit lower than what you want, you can definitely supplement with the oyster shell lake is what i'm going to prefer i'll give you guys an update pretty soon but um uh, so yeah uh go on their website and or not website uh my shire farm and katrina's quarter youtube channels and uh they've got some good videos nonetheless but they also have some videos uh, with some calculations with math where you can integrate your feed at the right ratios and uh, hopefully this helps you guys and I would definitely look for the flake again this is out of Washington and it's called scratch and peck feeds okay I'm really excited about this look at that flakes okay it's going to be easy for them to digest and pick at, and I'm excited. So I'll give you guys an update soon. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.